What's going on guys? Here we are at this season's project lawn. It's not my lawn, it's actually my co-worker's lawn. His name's John, he's 20 years old. He lived in an apartment for a year and now he has actually bought his own house. And now he's got a lawn to take care of. And he's never done this before. So he asked me a couple questions uh, on how to fix it all up. And he said that he wants to have no weeds in his lawn. He wants a thicker lawn and he wants it greener than everybody else's. That way he can dominate his neighbor. So I said, I think I can help you, but I might need a little bit of help. So I talked with our neighbors at the pizza shop, Great Lakes Ace, and they love the story. The fact that this young man is starting his journey in lawn care and they wanted to help support the cause and help him reach his goals. So Great Lakes Ace is gonna be supplying all the fertilizer and tools that he needs because coming from an apartment, he doesn't have anything. So they were kind enough to help him out and set him up with a plan. So let's go over to Great Lakes Ace and get our 2022 lawn care program. All right, here we are. Great Lakes Ace, baby. Let's go inside and get our 2022 beginner lawn care products. So let's do this. What do we have here? Good old Morgan. So here we have Scott step one, but this is a different one. This is the light blue bag. This one has a, a high quality product in it called Miso Tryon. This allows you to do seeding and also prevent crabgrass. Cause a lot of times when we use this one here, this is strictly meant as uh, to get rid of crabgrass. It's a pre-emergent that's in there, kind of creates like a little barrier so that once the temperatures rise, the, the product that's in here, it stops the crabgrass from germinating. But when you use this, as you can see uh, in the backyard, it's pretty rough back there, we are going to be seeding. Ace is hooking us up with seed, and this allows us to do this both at the same time, because if you use the other one, it won't let, allow this seed to germinate. When you use this product, the miso trine in there, what it does is it chokes out the plant of chlorophyll, so the crabgrass that you have that comes through, it will be white. So your, your lawn will look white or yellow. And if there's a lot of it in there, you have a lot of crabgrass in your lawn. This stuff I did all my renovations with, and I, I really like this stuff. This is what we're doing if you want to seed. And then if you already have an established lawn, then the regular step one is for you. Now that we have step one down, it's been about five to eight weeks. That puts us at around Memorial Day. We're going to want to apply step two. This is gonna get rid of your dandelions, your thistle, and your other broadleaf weeds that are really pesky, that are like an eyesore. So, but a tip for when uh, applying this. You wanna do it when the grass is wet. So if you put a little misting of water, you know, water it real quick, not heavy, just a little mist. Or my favorite is in the morning when there's dew on the grass. We apply step two, it sticks to all the weeds. After we water it in about a half inch, and then you'll start to see all your weeds start dying in the lawn. Memorial Day, step two. Now we put down step three. Step three is probably around end of August, beginning of September. After the lawn has taken a, a heavy beating from the, the heat from August, we now wanna feed it. It's, uh, the lawn's gonna be starving, and this right here has lawn food with 2% iron. This is one of my favorite ones of the, the program because you get that really good green up because of the iron. So this is what we're gonna put down after summer. And now we have step four. This is probably the most important step of the four because when our lawns go to hibernate, kind of relate it to like a bear, how the bear eats a bunch of food, that way it has nutrients while it hibernates in its cave. Well, our lawns do the same thing. When they go into hibernation, they need food. And step four is gonna give you a slow release. This is a 32012, and it's gonna give you the, the food and nutrients that the plant needs throughout the entire winter. That way, when we come out of winter into spring, you're gonna be the first lawn on the block to green up. All right, also, what you're gonna to need to put this stuff down is one of these. One of these uh, Turf Builder Edge Guard DLX. That, that's the one that I like to use, that one. And then a really popular one here is the EdgeGuard Mini. So we're doing a rather big property, so I'm going for the one that has the bigger hopper in it, but we're also doing a seeding project later on, and we're gonna use the Mini for that. So you're gonna wanna pick yourself up a spreader as well for this project. So 
Let's go to the house. I'm gonna show you guys how to weigh this out and put it on the lawn. All right, guys, now that we're back at the lawn, as you can see, we got crabgrass, old crabgrass. We have thin spots. We have weeds that are wanting to come out. And that's what the step one is really gonna help us with. And since we're overseeding, we're gonna be using the light blue bag because that product allows grass to germinate and it kills crabgrass. And we measured out the lawn. As you can see here, I used the wheel, I walked the property, and then I also used the internet. There's all kinds of programs that you can use and they're pretty accurate using the satellite. So minus the slab and the shed, we're at around 3,000 square feet. And make sure you read the label on the bag on how much to put down. And on this one, it says 4.3 pounds per thousand. So we're roughly 13 pounds. So what I used to measure it all out, I just went to the sporting goods store, picked up one of these fish weighing scales and you can just put your bucket on there. It weighs out the bucket and then we push the button, resets it and then we're back at zero. So now whatever product we have in there, we can tell how much is in there. You're also gonna wanna pick up some of this I didn't mention, which is grub control. This is a huge thing for the lawn and I'll be doing a video later on in the season on this, but you're gonna wanna add this to the program. Plus, if you're out shopping for your spring program, I would suggest just getting all four of them at the same time with this stuff and that way you're set for the season and you don't have to worry about it at all. And another thing that they had mentioned at Great Lakes Ace is that they do this thing where it's called E-M-I-L, e -L. that is when to put these products down. So step one through four, e -M-I-L. It is Easter, Memorial Day, Independence Day, and Labor Day, one, two, three, four. So it's no brainer. So that's why I like this thing. It's really good for beginners and new homeowners. And even if you don't have a lot of time to get into the super science about it, you know, this stuff makes it real easy and you can get really good results in your lawn. So I'll be putting these videos out. It's going to be a series sponsored by Great Lakes Ace Hardware. And it's, uh, I'm going to put these out before that it's actually time to put them down. That way it kind of gives you a reminder uh, when to put it down, how to put it down, and so you're gonna wanna turn on the notifications, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.